week 22. Well, week 22 was the beginning of a um, difficult week 23. Um, as far as um, me going beyond what used to be my limits and what I used to um, not be um, involved in because of my limitations. Mom um, has three herniated discs on her back and a uh, week 22 it started they started acting up um, you know they got inflamed uh, she um, starts getting um, like um, numbing sensations and pain um, because one of the herniated discs is right on the nerve it affects her whole left leg uh, which causes a lot of pain so I did the best I can do in week 22 as far as pushing her to rest um, and uh, taking care of her leg and stuff um, the weekend which was Saturday the 15th over here was Mother's Day and mom could not spend a good Mother's Day. Um, we spent that whole weekend in bed. I went and stayed with her watching movies and uh, getting whatever she needed. Um, mind you, we live in a two-story house. My room is downstairs um, because of the fact that my knees are not um, in a state where I can be going up and down stairs. Uh, this weekend of the 15th, I went up and down the stairs at least three times each day, which for me is a lot uh, when you consider that if I go upstairs once a month, it's, you know, a big deal. It's just something that I don't do. And um, that weekend, I um, was doing it frequently. I was a little bit worried about my knees, uh, getting into a lot of pain. Um, the most I felt, um, as far as me was concerned, was just, you know, regular muscle pains because, you know, I'm using um, force that I really don't use. Um, but I um, wanted to be there for mom and if having to go upstairs um, meant, you know, her being comfortable, then uh, that's what I had to do. And I was really glad that I was able to do it. Um, really proud that I was able to do it. <clears throat> but it was um, really hard. Um, the following week, I had to send mom to the emergency room on Monday. It didn't work out so well. I had to take her on Tuesday to see a private doctor and I was there with her having to stand up a lot and make sure she was comfortable, uh, helping her go to the bathroom, helping her get back up on the exam table and stuff like that. And uh, you know just going out with her um, looking for a pharmacy and things like that for her to get injections and stuff. Uh, and that's how I um, spent, you know, the week that followed um, after the 15th um, was a lot of um, just uh, giving mom attention, making sure she was taking her medications, um, being in constant contact with the doctor um, to change medications because things were not working, um, just uh, basically being there, you know, mean. I um, got a little bit of a taste of what she had to go through with me after I had surgery, you know, where she had to help me get dressed and bathe and stuff like that. So um, I was really uh, helping mom out a lot in that, you know, helping her get dressed and 
get up from bed, um, go upstairs. Um, when she had to go somewhere, I was there with her. And these are things that I was never able to do before. And I'm so grateful that I got the surgery um, when I did and that I was able to lose um, the weight that I had lost which um, by my calculations was only 50 pounds um, but 50 pounds that really made the difference in me being able to do more than what I used to be able to do because before I couldn't help her I, I couldn't be there for her she had to literally um, still try and do things on her own in pain and this time I was able to step up and um, be there for her, uh, keep her company, um, be calling the doctor, you know, getting medications when she needed them and um, even having to take charge in the house and making sure, you know, that lunch got done, that she did not have to be involved with that, you know, I wouldn't just automatically see what was available and make something up and, and um, of course, you know, she's still, she's so used to being in charge of everything and uh, I did have to sit down one day and tell her that I can do more and she needs to count on me uh, a lot more than she's used to and she needs to start, you know, cutting some of the slack because her body is just not handling it anymore. Um, don't really know what happened to cause the disc to um, get inflamed this time. We don't know if it was a bad move. We don't know if it was, she, she says she didn't pick anything up heavy. I don't know. But yeah, week 22 and week 23 were really stressful for me. I was not available to talk with anybody um, on chats or anything. I feel really bad about that and I'm really sorry to anybody that I left hanging. I've um, tried to talk to a couple people that sent me messages. Um, I know I haven't gotten to everybody and I am trying to catch up on all of those things. So that's how my week 22 going into week 23 was um, very stressful but um, also eye-opening for me and it made me be extremely extremely grateful and I thank God that I got my surgery and that I was able to lose the amount of weight that I had lost um, because without it there's no way that I would have been able to be here um, for mom so um that's it for week 22 going into week 23